In today's feature story segment, Farm Week's Amy Taylor reports on a family-owned business that started as a 200-acre farm more than a century ago. Located in Loosedale, Mississippi, Eubanks Produce now manages more than 1,000 acres of hand-picked fruits and vegetables. The fresh produce is shipped around the country and it's sold to mega wholesale chains. Part of the farm is devoted to a U-Pick operation during the summer. Owner and operator Alan Eubanks says the mission of the farm is to provide safe, economical produce in a manner that honors the family's farming heritage. This story first aired on Farm Week last fall. If you get the chance to visit Eubanks Produce in South Mississippi, you can't help but be amazed by the story of a small farm that grew big in business. Alan Eubanks says he started the operation on acreage where Pat Eubanks planted row crops two generations ago. Today, he says the farming tradition lives on. My dad, he was the one that started the, or got me started in the row cropping, you know, and helped out with the watermelons, and the, he helped out with all the vegetables early on. And he uh, he runs the U-Pick now. He's in charge of the U-Pick, Charlie's U-Pick. And my wife does all the office management, does all the bookkeeping and everything. And the kids all work at the uh, U-Pick during the summertime, so it's a real good training ground for them. Everything is uh, hand-picked. We're, we're very in, labor-intensive here, so that is a big c component of our overall success of the farm, I guess. Uh, anywhere from, from planting to, to harvesting to putting down the stakes. In addition to family effort on the farm, about 10 full-time workers and 250 seasonal workers have jobs on the farm, from planting to packaging to shipping. As with any business, seeking the right educational tools greatly influenced the success of Eubanks Produce. Mississippi State University Extension Service Vegetable Specialist David Nagel says Eubanks made good use of his education after graduating from MSU in 1992. Alan Eubanks was a student in one of my first vegetable production classes about 20 years ago. And even then he knew he wanted to grow vegetables for a living. When Alan graduated, he went back home and joined the family business. Uh, we had several extension meetings with him. We, f we took Alan to Michigan, we took him to Florida, we took him to California, we took him to Texas, so he could see how the big boys did it. Nagel says learning from other operations is one of the most effective ways to develop a business. Eubanks says deciding what to grow on the farm depends on market demand. A lot of it's market driven. You know, we started out just developing local markets and then we expanded into more retail markets. Eubanks says he started slowly, planting a couple of acres of tomatoes and peppers, then expanded to harvesting and selling a larger variety of produce. Today, the long list includes bell peppers, cabbage, cantaloupe, cucumbers, eggplant, snap beans, strawberries, sweet corn, sweet onions, tomatoes, watermelon, zucchini, and broccoli. Produce is mainly sold in the southern region of the U.S. and a few locations in the north. Additionally, Eubanks' father, Charlie Eubanks, runs the 100-acre Eupic operation, which is open for six weeks every summer. Alan explains how Charlie's Eupic operates. Bring your own bucket, five-gallon bucket. And it's, this year we were at nine dollars a bucket. People come pick whatever they want, mix and match. And it's uh, a lot of families come out. Biggest crowd. I think we had about uh, 2,000 cars come through the first opening day last year. In addition, customers can also purchase pre-picked fruits and vegetables during the U-Pick season. David Nagel says the farm's diversity has been key to its success. One thing the Eubanks have, have always done, even before Alan really got into the business, is they were diverse. They would grow several things. Alan produces pretty much all through the year and has a crops coming off of about ten and a half months out of the year so that it's not all resting on one period of time. Nagel says it is possible to be successful at only growing one crop as long as the farmer's whole income does not depend on that one crop. In addition to variety on the farm, Nagel says it's crucial to learn what people want in both local and large-scale markets. If you're going to grow vegetables and sell them locally, you have to be very aware of what local people want. Uh, Allen is beyond that size. Allen is selling on a, on a regional, if not national basis, and he deals with the buyers from grocery stores who, who literally tell him what they want. Allen is one who goes out and finds somebody who wants to buy something, and then he grows it for them 
rather than growing it and trying to sell it to somebody. Another essential part of the business plan for Eubanks Produce Farms is using the internet. Janice Eubanks says Facebook is a great way to reach customers. We use Facebook on our farm to connect with our visitors to our UPIC operation. We're able to post pictures as the crop grows to get them excited about coming to our farm. In addition to Facebook, Jana says using a website is a necessity for getting information to customers such as produce lists, harvesting seasons, and contact information. Janice also says a high priority for Eubanks Produce is to be able to trace produce after it's been shipped. We maintain that traceability through our inventory system and when we ship produce to customers, we are able to identify the particular lots that are, are sold to customers so that in the event that there is a food recall on any produce that we have sold, we are able to locate that produce that may have been shipped to other customers and recall that as necessary. Along with providing safe produce for customers, the Eubanks believe in maintaining a safe environment for workers. Employees are educated about operating equipment properly and work conditions are kept clean and safe. Additionally, Janice says environmental conservation is practiced in packaging the produce. We can pack our produce in recycled plastic crates. We get those from the vendor, pack the produce, after it's been washed and shipped that, it goes directly to the store shelves. The store does not have to put any labor into repacking into other containers. Janice says this method cuts down on the amount of cardboard needed for packing. Another conservation practice is the use of underground drip irrigation systems to avoid wasting water through runoff. Allen says developing a thriving operation has been a fulfilling experience. However, he says it does come with challenges. Probably primarily labor issues. There's more and more regulation on labor and just government regulation and across the board on everything. Seems to be a more challenge, bigger, big, bigger challenge these days. Costs us more and more every year. However, Allen says he and his family are blessed for being successful at operating a business based on strong ethics, integrity, and learning from others. A lot of bumps in the road. A lot of learning, learning curve there. A big, big learning curve there. Uh, it was very challenging, but yeah, we're, we're, we're proud of where we are for sure. As Eubanks Produce Farms reaches its 20th year in operation, it remains a good example of how a small farm can grow big in business. From Loosedale, Mississippi, I'm Amy Taylor reporting. And you can watch this story on Eubanks Produce again on our Farm Week website, our Facebook page, or YouTube. The website address, farmweek.msucares.com. We'll also have a link to the Eubanks Produce website as well. And Amy's been in touch uh, with the Eubanks down there, Layton, and uh, their UPIC will be starting up here shortly. We'll run until about July 1st. Uh, one of the things to remember about them is they don't grow it until they have a buyer. So they have a buyer ahead of time. They don't just grow it and then hope they can sell it. Not, Not gambling there. That know. is a big key for their operation.